This video shows you three effective stretches using a wall, starting with a hamstring stretch. Come to standing about 6 inches 15 centimetres away from a wall. Allow your buttocks to rest back on the wall. Then hinging forwards at your hips, bend your knees as much as you need to so that your rib cage can rest on your thigh. Hang the head and the body down over the legs, making sure the buttocks are still touching the wall. For more weight in this stretch, you can hold your elbow. If there's more flexibility, maybe straighten your legs a little bit more. Now just stay here for a few breaths, draping the body down, directing your breath right into the back of the hamstrings. We're looking to feel this stretch right in the middle of the hamstrings. So if you feel it around the back of your knees, just bend the knees a little bit more. Making sure you're not holding tension in the neck, slowly roll up to stand and take care to rest for a couple of moments leaning back on the wall as it's easy to experience a head rash here. Moving on now to the next stretch. This is really effective for the quadriceps. You'll need either a block here or a yoga mat or a cushion to kneel on. Place your chosen prop, the yoga mat or the block, just in front of the wall. The distance will depend on the flexibility of your quadriceps. I like it nice and close, maybe a couple of inches. Now you're going to place your right kneecap flat down on that block, yoga mat or cushion. Step the other foot in front of you, taking care to see your knee is directly above your ankle. Your back foot's resting on the wall. Now bring your hands up to the thigh, you'll feel a strong stretch down that right thigh. Tuck your tailbone under. You might even be able to lean back on the wall. If you have more flexibility, you can bring your arms over your head. But happily keep them rested on the thigh. Or if this does feel really strong, really fine just to keep the hands down on the mat still. Bring your awareness to your breath, sending full, long, deep breath into that stretch. To swap sides, just place your left knee on the block and bring your right foot into that lunge. Again, taking care to see that your knee is over your ankle. Walking the hands up onto the thigh, lean back. Maybe lean back further and bring the hands to rest above your head. Again, if it feels too much, come back to the hands being on the thigh or even keeping them down on the mat as we did before. Focus on your breath, sending long, fluid breaths and focusing on the thigh. To come out, bring the hands back down to the mat and slowly step your knee down. Well done, that's a strong stretch for those thighs. Now we're moving on to legs up the wall or Vipariti Karani. This is a great pose for everyone, but especially runners, as it helps to drain the lactic acid down from the legs. So start sitting side onto the wall. Get really nice and close here. Then gently roll yourself down, trying to keep your buttocks in as close to the wall as possible. If you're a few inches away, just roll in, wiggle in a little bit closer. Now the back of your legs are resting on the wall. And allow the knees to bend but allow the ankles to flop open here and really think about your thigh bone sinking down through the legs and into the mat. It can be nice to bring the arms over your head here in a diamond shape but if that's too much for your shoulders just keep the hands resting by your side or maybe lightly on your belly. Allow yourself to close your eyes, bring your awareness to the breath, and again, slow, rhythmic breathing. When it's ready to come out, bring the knees down, roll over to one side, and gently push yourself up to seated. You can stay in that pose for much longer though if you have the time available. 